How are you, YouTube? I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is another one of John's radios. Um, I did the uh, Black Best 3900 for him. And uh, this time we're looking at a 3900 EFT. And uh, nice looking radio, I have to say. But um, it's a good bit off frequency. Um, and the counter is off frequency so what we're going to try and do here um, we're going to go through the service manual it's the same as the 158 EDX it's, it's the same radio and we're going to get it back tuned up anyway first off and then secondly we'll take care of the cosmetic stuff there's a decal coming for it and uh, Little things like the counter, focus, the counter's not straight, you, you can see it's dipping down there to the left, and uh, we'll try and sort that out, and also the counter is brighter than the channel display, so we're going to see can we do something with that, to get the two of them to look the same, and uh, other than that she's all good you know, so um, I did speak to somebody in Nottingham on it this morning, a uh, bit of short skip running and uh, he gave a good report 10 over 9 which just radio power and um, an IMAX 2000 10 feet off the ground so um, quite a good report considering cases are good uh, bottom case is good internal speakers not working I'm suspecting it's just not plugged in on the board and uh, big heat sink and big air power, power connector and um, I don't know the whole ins and outs of this thing made in Malaysia so this will be probably the tin board and um, the components be probably not the best so I'm gonna crack it open and uh, we'll have a look at it so we'll be back alright so um, there's why the internal speaker wasn't working and uh, wire broke off the uh, Focus wire broke off the speaker it says tested okay August 2016 and uh, Yeah, we'll see about that Something spilt in the corner of the case there Looks like glue not sure hmm. Right, let's get on with it Right, so um, she's in the nip now and uh oh I don't know what this is all about but that looks like it was ah I see it was attached onto the back of this by the looks of it and uh, it got broken off so um we we'll come up with a little bit more of a solid solution for that uh, usual tin board you can see like you can flex the you can flex the chassis um, <clears throat> you know there's chalk and cheese like compared to his other 3900 the black best you know the far better chassis and uh hmm like, this must be the echo board here i don't know can we denotch this clarifier won't know to take it out because it's not the same as um uh, what we're used to dealing with here but we'll have a go hmm Right, so next thing now is just to put the counter on it and uh, see what way things are. So we're here uh, working on the uh, face bezel of uh, John ZFT and we can see here that some knobhead has decided to scratch all the um, inserts that go in the in the bezel in front of the uh, frequency readout and the channel readout so what I've done shut up Frenchie I've um, 
I've taken them out and I've polished them as best I can. Um, now I'll probably have another go at them. And I've turned them the other way around so the scratch part's on the inside. And um, the thing about these is they're they're like smoked. But the thing I don't like about it is that when the radio is turned off, like you can see all those unlit segments and the decimal points and it just looks cat. So um I'm going to uh I'm going to put uh blue material in there um that hopefully will hide the scratches and because I've turned them around we have the unscratched side out so uh it should look okay. So uh I have this control completely sorted out here now. Uh, as we can see I have it fixed via set screw and tidy that up a bit one full revolution one kc well lots and lots of hours have passed um i i didn't even shoot any video because this thing just fought me every step of the way. Every time I'd fix something, something else would go wrong. And, um, oh man. But it's done, it's tuned, and uh, all it has to, we're just waiting for the decal, which will come shortly, and I'll do a final assembly video. I'm gonna start doing final assembly videos. Um, or have all the bits laid out and cleaned and ready to go and uh, put it all back together so she's grand now it's all tuned AM, upper, lower FM, CW so it reads the same everywhere and I tell you I'm not sorry to have this one done Okay, the um, long-awaited decal has arrived and uh, we're at the assembly stage now, so we're going to fire it together for the last time. So, um, cue the music.
So, after a hell of a lot of work and a lot of hardship, um, John's EFT, here we are. So, nice decal, carbon fiber, blue text, and a two color meter, modulation light, one, two, check, one, two. One two one two check check one two three four one two and uh, <clears throat> we maybe have a ten turn clarifier as well but the problems I had with the, the clarifier I just decided to ditch it so every one turn brings you one KC ish you know it's very precise control Well, that's as far as it goes and then you have to go back that's the only thing it's a bit it's a bit slower but once you get used to it it's actually fine so there we are and then you go five the other way it's a very fine control it keeps the radio very stable um, once the radio passes its warm up period wherever you have it set that last last digit will not move um yeah so it's done and uh be out of here now working well came out really well pleased with it but absolutely broke my heart broke my heart now it's on its own speaker Like who uses them? You know, all modes. Uh, slight tweak on AM, FM, CW, or sideband. It's bang on where it needs to be. it is so uh, hope you enjoy it Martin Martin hope you enjoy it John uh, give it a good clean up bag it up get it boxed up and shipped out so you'll have it soon all the best bye bye